exercise like this uh, in and of itself produces a resilience because our airmen are put through more stresses, not just the length of the day, but also the, the gravity of what they're performing, the task that they're performing. Whenever you go through a stressor like this, individually, you're gonna become better, you're gonna become stronger. But corporately, they're going to have that shared experience. So whenever you go through that time of stress, that time of stretching, together, you're gonna to be stronger. Individually, you're gonna be stronger. We trust, we empower, we expect our airmen to be creative. And time after time, they demonstrate the resiliency to go ahead and figure out a creative way to make our mission happen. We're the only aircraft out there that combine stealth with precision payloads with long range strike. Nobody else can do that. Not necessarily like why would we or should we maintain an advantage. The real thought behind this is we have to maintain an advantage. We're not just thinking about how do we meet that threat, but is how do we lean forward and think about what that next iteration, what that next threat is. The B-2 bomber has never been more relevant than it is right now. This plane was conceived at the height of the Cold War. Now we find ourselves 30 years later and the B-2 is in the mission for which it was created. Great power competition. An exercise like this is a, is a reminder that the 509th Bomb Wing and the 131st Bomb Wing are ready and willing to execute its mission of nuclear operations and global strike anytime, anywhere.